Knowing the differences between refined and unrefined oils and butters is really important for the consumers and the creators out there. And in today's video, I'm going to break down the basic differences, pros and cons between those two different things. And welcome to the video. I do appreciate when you guys check out these educational videos because they are my favorite to make. And I know in the long run, they can do a lot of good. An educated consumer is a powerful consumer. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I hope you guys look around. I hope you hit the thumbs up if you like learning. And if you feel like this channel is going to fit your vibes, consider subscribing. Unrefined basically means that the carriers are not processed to remove their impurities. The extraction method does not involve any chemicals whatsoever, normally being cold pressed, which is taking machinery that is physically pressing the ingredient, and this is in a controlled environment of about 80 to 90 degrees. Now I said normally cold pressed because they can use a press method that uses slightly hotter temperatures and still be considered unrefined, but that is it. The pros, you are getting the highest quality ingredients and the highest nutritional value. You are tapping into nature and getting the most out of nature when you're using those unrefined ingredients. And if you're trying to get the health properties, you're trying to make your beard feel and look as great as possible, that is a huge pro. Now on the con side, you normally have a shorter shelf life, right? The more you're in tap with nature, the more it's going to spoil or go rancid quickly. Another one is it's harder to work with scent wise and structure wise. Let me give you some examples. And this is not always, there are some that are cold pressed, amazing, easy to work with scent, easy to work with structure, but we do have some ones that are very common that can be difficult. For example, coconut oil, I do not believe is a great ingredient for your beard. It has a very high comedogenic scale rating. However, once you process that coconut oil and you get things like fractionated coconut oil or other versions, you're removing some of those long chain fatty acids that structurally are hard to work with. Once you do that, that is now an absolutely amazing ingredient for our beard that's going to absorb quickly. It's going to have great benefits, but it is no longer unrefined. That is a refined ingredient. Now on the other side is the scent. Some of these unrefined ingredients are so good for us, but the scent is very potent. It's very strong. So if you're trying to work with essential or fragrance oils, you either need to work around it or with it. Otherwise, that scent is going to overpower it. Again, somebody that loves their beard smelling just right or they want to convey a certain scent profile as a creator, that can be a con and something that's difficult to work with. Refined oils and butters is pretty much the opposite of what we just talked about, but let me give you guys some specifics. To be considered refined, that just simply means the process of removing impurities or select elements of the ingredients. Now, if you look up online how to refine oils and butters, you're gonna find some crazy methods out there, such as bleaching or using wild chemicals. Most of those methods are not used in the carriers we see in beard care. Those things are not in the beard care industry. Normally, when we are talking about refined oils or refined butters, it involves extreme temperatures. Heating up the oil or heating up the butter to excess of 450 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Those are ways that you can change the structure, you can do different things to it to achieve the goal that you want. Now, some pros of that, right? Longer shelf life oftentimes. Another is being able to work with scents better. When you refine an ingredient, usually it lowers that natural scent so you can get those true essential oils, those true fragrance oils to your product or to your beard if you're on the consumer side. Now, cons of that, of course, the biggest, you are removing some qualities that are beneficial to your beard. That's just what it comes down to. You have to kind of weigh it out. Do I want those qualities but then have to deal with the other stuff or is removing it still good enough for my purpose? Whew, pros and cons, let's kind of bring those together and talk about that in just a second. Unrefined versus refined carrier ingredients in the beard care industry. It all comes down to your priorities, your preferences, and your goals. One is not better than the other. 
You just need to determine what you are looking for and then go from there, whether you are a creator or a consumer. Question for you guys, is this something that you pay close attention to? Do you have a preference and why? Let us know down in the comments or is this something that you're not worried about? You know that both sides have valid uses, valid points, and you enjoy the journey of trying all of them. I would love to hear all perspectives on this, guys, and if you have any questions on anything that was covered in this video or not covered, please leave it down below. Thank you for watching today. Dancy Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.